Welcome to our video series on the Adobe CMS at BGSU. This video will introduce you to the system and show you the basic navigation. Before we start, the system works best if you're using Firefox or Safari. If you're on a Windows machine and do not have Firefox, please contact the Technology Support Center and have them assist you in installing it. The Technology Support Center's contact information is on their website at www.bgsu.edu slash TSC. Once you are using either Firefox or Safari, go ahead and open the Adobe CMS page and log in. If you do not already have a link for the site, follow the link below. The first view you will see will display a list of all the websites you have access to along the left-hand side. One unique part of the Adobe CMS is that pages, and not just folders, may contain other pages. All pages have a globe-shaped icon just to the left of their name. A page that has other pages inside of it is called a parent page and will have a small plus or minus icon just to its left. Clicking on this icon will either expand or collapse the list of pages the parent contains. The pages that appear when the parent's list is expanded are called child pages. Child pages can have their own children just like folders can have subfolders. The structure of parent and child pages is used to build the entire list of sites. The location of each page matches the full web address of the live version of the page, with each folder being represented by a page. As an example, the Technology Support Center site is located at www.bgsu.edu slash ITS slash TSC. Within the CMS, the www.bgsu.edu section of this address is represented by the home page. The slash ITS part of the URL is the Information Technology Services page, and the remaining slash TSC is the Technology Support Center page just underneath it. When you click on any page along the left side of your screen, the right portion of your screen will show a list of all the children contained within that page. If the right side of the page is blank, the page you have clicked on has no children. The menu along the top of the right hand side of your screen allows you to interact with the child pages listed. The refresh icon is the first icon in that menu and will simply refresh the current list of child pages. The new option in the menu is used to create a new child page under the page you have selected along the left. The copy icon allows you to copy the current child page you have selected and the paste icon will paste the page you've copied in that location. This allows you to quickly duplicate a page either in the same location or under another page. The delete button allows you to delete the child page you have selected. The Move button opens a new window that has several functions. First, you can move the currently selected page to another area of the CMS by using the Browse button next to the To field. Second, you can change the page's name. We will discuss later that pages have both titles and names, but just for now know that the menu allows you to change the name of a page. This concludes our introduction to the Adobe CMS at BGSU. If you have any additional questions, please click the link below to be taken to our full support page.